The overall goal of this procedure is to provide a streamlined protocol that enables rapid, high-throughput, simultaneous processing of whole blood samples in a non-clinical setting. Vacutainer processing is performed in an overlapping manner to enable efficient isolation of high-quality fractions of DNA, RNA, peripheral blood mononuclear cells, or PBMCs, serum, and residual fractions of plasma and red blood cells. Processing begins with centrifugation of the serum vacutainer, removal of an aliquot from one FICOL containing vacutainer for DNA isolation, centrifugation of the FICOL tubes, then completion of DNA isolation. After DNA isolation, leukocyte-derived RNA isolation from the K2 EDTA vacutainers can occur. The blood from each vacutainer is passed through a respective filter and washed with PBS, then treated with an RNA stabilization agent. Returning to the FICOL-containing vacutainers, the residual plasma is drawn off and the mononuclear layer is washed with PBS. While the tubes are spinning, the residual red blood cells are collected and the separated serum is aliquoted. Finally, PBMCs are preserved in self-raising medium. Ultimately, high-quality fractions of fresh blood can be produced within two hours of collection and all assay-ready specimens can be available within two days. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods is that the procedures can be performed simultaneously in a non-clinical setting, thus producing starting material within two days for a multitude of downstream applications including microarray, epigenetic, real-time RT-PCR, and flow cytometry analysis. Demonstrating the procedure will...